today. Welcome to the Bilsa Show, eh? Today on the Bilsa Show, it's 7.30 in the friggin' morning. Frick. I got my lunch, a couple pizza pockets, a muffin, and my coffee, boys. She was late, 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 late night last night, she was. So I was up editing that damn crawling video all friggin' night, and then I annoyed myself watching it. Decent, easy, careful. Boys, holy. Oh, well, hey, I'm by myself. Should have just played music. Hopefully you liked it and go back and give that thing a thumbs up and appreciate it. Why wouldn't you? But on another note, the old Chevy Silverado. Every morning I got to fill the freaking tire up. I got a bad tire, boys. It's all cracked and cocked over and uh, had to buy new tires yesterday. Frig. So Saturday, we're getting them put on. We are. Brand new Michelins, boys. I went from a 245 to a 265 I did. So it's gonna be freaking decent. I was gonna let it go all, all summer on these tires, but they're done. They're freaking done, they are. So there's a thousand freaking dollars. Frick. And then I had Buddy over yesterday. Finally look at my roof on my garage. It needs wood too, boys. She needs wood, she does. She's rotten. I said to him, Frig, you're supposed to be over a year and a half ago to look at this roof. It's been leaking for a year and a half. So if you're over here, the wooden wood would have been rotten. So it's your fault. You didn't go for that. It didn't work, boys. I thought it might have, but it didn't. But he's supposed to give me an estimate today, and I'm probably thinking it's going to be about 1500 bucks for a little garage. Hey, it is what it is. It is friggin' right. You got to do what you got to do. You do. It's going to be an expensive month for me. Thank God I have no camping book right now. My God. Ah, oh, boys. But I'm running late today. It's 7.30, and I'm normally at work by this time. The YouTube's keeping me busy, it is. I figured I wish it would keep me busier so I could just YouTube. Could you imagine me being a full-time YouTuber? What would really happen? I don't think I have the brains for her, boys. Get into merch and this and that. How you doing? Hey, what the hell are you doing? Oh, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens, Well, But anyways, I'm just going to cruise to work here. I want to give you a quick update on the old this and that and the other thing. Drink my coffee, relax, wake up, and I'll see you after work, I will. Well... All done for the day. She was a long day, boys. Just friggin' whipped. So now, what we need to do is we need to go home and text the guy for the roof and see if he got me a price together yet because I haven't heard from him all day and I'm wondering what the hell's really going on. Good old Red Egg Tree Service, boys. If you need your tree cut down, call Red Egg. Why wouldn't you? R-E-D-I-C-K, please. Right, right. Good old Al. Ask for Al. He's the owner he is. I gotta call him, by the way, because he friggin' said he'd bring me a load of friggin' wood chips and he hasn't. What's really going on? That was a year ago. What's with everybody in a year ago? Can't even give money away for Christ's sakes, hey? Got a business? You say, hey, I need a roof done. A year later shows up. Hey, I need wood chips. Never hear from him again. Frig, what's really going on? I'm not really in a rush for wood chips, so I'll tell you that right now. That just sounds like work to me. Mind you, it's May 2 4 coming up. That'd be a good thing to do for the weekend. Show a friggin' wood chips around, boys. Hey? We do a wood chip party. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, eh? Why wouldn't it? But it was raining earlier and it stopped again, but now the wind's coming out of the north again, so she brought the deal temperature down from 70 to friggin' 60 again. Frick sakes, I love the lake. Doing a friggin' windshield in a tractor trailer at the old Petro there on off the highway. Get it all ripped apart, it just starts friggin' raining. So I had to sit in the old Van Aruski there, wait for it to clear up a little bit, cut her out, Stick her in before it started raining again. And I finished her and it started raining again. So that was good timing because she was a glue in, boys. She wasn't a rubber job. For any of you guys out there that know how auto glass works, some transport trucks are rubber jobs, some are glue ins. Between you and me and the stone, the glue ins are better. Rubber jobs always leak, especially the Cascadias. Freightliner Cascadias are garbage, boys. The windshields just fall out of them things they do. Hats off. The Freightliner for that design. You guys are thinking there, I'll tell you. Anybody out there that's a truck driver that watches the old dirty old Bilsif, comment below if you have a leaky windshield in your Cascadia. Guaranteed, at one point, it freaking leaked. It don't even seal them from the factory. I back seal every one I put in, and they're mint. I'm gonna go home and see what I'm gonna cook for dinner. Maybe take a day off of the old YouTube editing, eh? Maybe I'll edit this tomorrow. No movie today, boys. Freaking right, wonder if I can do it. Probably not. I worry about you guys, but I don't do a movie. I'll let you get caught up on some older videos. Go check them out, why wouldn't you? Mind you, this video will be new when you're watching it, so hopefully you've already checked them out, why wouldn't you? Pretty right, you better. What a hat from Snap-on, eh? Little FDX Snap-on hat. Actually, it's a pretty nice little freaking hat, boys. The only problem is, my head's huge. 
I got it on the highest setting, and she still don't want to go over the pumpkin. Look at that, boys. Let's give her the old stretch job. How's that look, boys? How do I look in a hat? Tell me the truth. I think I look like a freaking moron in a hat. How about a backwards hat? I'm the old Bill Simpson. How are you doing? How about one of these? How are you doing? How are you doing? How the hell are you doing, bud? Oh, I don't wear hats, boys, because it makes my hair sweat. Freaking right, my hair sweats. Anybody else out there wear a hat and makes their head sweat? If you do, leave a comment below, why wouldn't you? And don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell wear button if you like this driving home video and driving to work video. I'm looking forward to getting the tires on the open Silverado on Saturday. Just follow each other they are. I like it when people move over into the other lane when they're turning when there's no cars coming in a two-laner. We don't have to hit the brakes and slow right down to a stop, boys. That looks like my old sled back there. Pretty right it does. Piece of shit. Sorry about your luck, bud. Sorry about that. The old Articat ZR... What was that thing? ZR800? ZR800. She was a good little sled until I had to rebuild it twice. Then no go on the sled. Oh, goodbye. But anyways, I'm just about home. Hopefully everybody had a good day. Just enjoying the after work relaxation, boys. But anyways, love yous. Have a good night. And uh, you know what to do for now.